10, 9, 8, 7, MCC took the control conforming engine for one computer. 4, MCC took the conforming engine for start. 2, 1. Between 7.15 and 7.17 a.m. on 30th May, Indian space startup Agnikul Cosmos broke multiple records at once. They launched their suborbital vehicle, which is powered by the world's first single-piece 3D printed rocket engine. Normally, engine parts are made separately and assembled later. Using this 3D manufacturing process can cut down both the cost and the assembly time. Agnikul has also become the first to use a private launch pad that the company has set up in Sri Harikota, which is India's only operational spaceport, and this was the second launch by a private startup in India. The launch vehicle is called Agniban and was also developed by the startup. It has demonstrated India's first semi cryogenic engine. This engine is called Agnilit and it uses sub cooled oxygen as fuel. Cryogenic engines use gases which are liquefied at extremely low temperatures as fuel. In fact, the testing which was done was also powered by Agnikul's own data acquisition systems and flight computers, which were designed completely in-house. While Agnikul tried to launch four times before this, their fifth attempt has been successful and they've now created history. Everyone from PM Modi to ISRO to Pawan Goenka, the chairman of InSpace, congratulated the team on this milestone. Agnikul Cosmos' main aim is that they offer affordable launch services to small satellites. This startup was in fact incubated at the IIT Madras Research Park. It was founded in 2017 by their CEO Srinath Ravichandran, a Wall Street trader turned aerospace engineer, Moin SPM, an operations specialist, and Satya Narayan Chakravarti, a professor at IIT Madras. This was the first company to sign an agreement with ISRO under the InSpace initiative. It is due to this initiative that they had access to ISRO's expertise and facilities to build the Agniban. All in all, this marks another big milestone in India's private space journey. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more such content, keep watching Mint.